What's going on guys? It's Jeff Freer from Jeff.tv and BoomExplode.com and today I'm actually going to keep up with that out of the box unboxing if you will that I mentioned a couple of weeks ago and this week I'm actually going to unbox some new ear protection uh, for sport shooting whatever it may be. Uh, I typically use just a regular Peltor set, non-electronic, pretty run-of-the-mill $20-$30 dollar ear protection that you would see any range basically having. Decided to make the jump to electronic. I went with the Howard Light version. Uh, Peltor and 3M do make an electronic version. Actually, a couple different electronic versions that range from anywhere from, I want to say, $80 up to three dollars to $400. I decided to try the Howard Lights. Got them on Amazon for, I want to say, $50. Bucks, and uh, I just want to open them up, try them out, and we'll see how good they are. I'm actually going to put these to use this weekend. So this will be, again, an out-of-the-box, out-of-the-ordinary unboxing for me. All right, and here we are. And again, this is what they are calling an Impact Sport Electronic Earmuff. This is the Howard Light line right there. Shooter's Electronic Earmuff. Has a nice logo on the top there, but we'll get to that. So over here, as you can see, it protects, it basically reduces decibel range up to 22 points uh, on the decibel scale. Amplifies low-level sounds of people's voices if you're at a range with an instructor or just people around you. Uh, protection against harmful noise, not even just firearm discharge, could be loud engines, whatever it may be. Uh, connects to iPod, MP3, other rated devices, four hour automatic shutoff, and yes, it includes batteries. It gives the same message over here. On the back, it more or less just reiterates that once again. Uh, as you can see, sound amplification, uh, anything above 82 decibels is when it will start to bring that down. So it amplifies the ambient sound to 82 decibels. So anything around you, actually, I take that back, it'll bring to that level. Um, and then it'll bring everything else down from 22. So uh, loud things, up, here it is right here. Loud things above 92 decibels, that's what it's going to bring down. So if you're at an indoor range, I would probably still recommend maybe earplugs, something else to go with that, just to be safe. But let's try and rip these open here. So it has a little tab at the top. And again, I got these on Amazon. I want to say they were... 40 50 dollars somewhere in that vicinity off the top of my head i'm getting worse and worse i never remember what the stuff is off the top of my head uh, but it just gives you a little user instruction manual i'll go through that when i put the batteries in test out here now my dad actually bought the 3m peltor version which is the hundred dollar version uh, of their electronic earmuffs and they sounded great they amplified we actually tried them out in his kitchen you hear the tv in the living room uh, amplified through which was very cool it almost sounds like a static radio from back in the day but it amplified that no problem and then we tested it by actually clapping our hands and that's how you can tell what it's going to actually filter out so here they are right here these are advertised as low profile um, mm -hmm. again there's their logo right there but these are low profile clearly as you can see here they roll up nice and small I mean, here's the size of my fist not exactly very big that's very cool it comes with that auxiliary cable for an iPod, iPhone, MP3 player. I'm not going to use this, to be very honest. And I've heard it actually doesn't work as advertised with these ear muffs, and that's part of the reason it had some negative reviews. Doesn't concern me. I'm okay with that. And then here are the so batteries. Like yeah, these actually just pull right out. That's what I thought, but I just wanted to be safe here. So they pull right out, and then you can put them right on your head. Now, again, here are the microphones to pick up the ambient noise around you. You have a volume meter here, so Impact Sport. They're a green color. Volume meter here actually has a clicking, so that's good. You can probably hear that still inside your head. Standard earmuff style. Again, low profile. The pads aren't exactly good, but let's see how they feel with my glasses All right, on. so further investigation in the manual here just shows them to put them on your head. You pull down one of the muffs and then pull down from the top. So I'm going to try that now. Let's see how well it actually works. This, this little bar right here. So you just pull down. Uh, this is standard on almost every set. I don't know why I couldn't figure that out today for some reason. Been one of those days. Been one of those weeks. So they still have to be adjusted a little bit more. Part of it is my glasses. The frame adds some thickness and therefore some length that this has to compensate for. All right, so they are on now. They feel pretty comfortable. Uh, I can hear my voice a little bit. Nothing crazy. Now, again, I don't have the batteries in yet. I'm going to do that in a second. But I'm actually going to add a little bit more length to these things. Much better. Yep, my, my, much, 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 much better. All right. So, now I'm going to put the batteries in, and we'll do some testing. The way the batteries pop in, there's this little panel right here. I mean, again, very straightforward. 
take it to double A's or triple A's and they just pop in as so. It does actually show you a little diagram. You know what? We may as well put this to use. A little bit overkill, but why not? Why not actually use it? There's actually like an adhesive on those batteries. So top battery goes with the positive lead to the left. Bottom battery goes with the positive lead to the right, depending on how you're looking at this, of course. Snap this panel back into place. We are good to go. To get these things fully powered on and fully tested. All right, so now I have the phone set in front of me and I actually just recorded uh, about three minutes of video and I wasn't even recording. So that kind of stinks, so I'm gonna do it again. So here I have a tested.com video. Now my earmuffs are on, I'm talking fine. I'm actually going to turn them off. So I can only kind of hear my voice echoing through my head right now. I actually have the electronic portion of these earmuffs off. So you can hear a click, I'm gonna turn them on. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start playing this first. So it's right in front of me. I can somewhat make out what they're saying. You said something about, you say I do, I took a break for a while. I can definitely hear that. But now you're gonna hear the click. And I'll turn this up a little bit. And now it sounds as clear as can be, as does my voice. Uh, I can start clapping. And when I do, it actually dampens that completely. So it, it senses that, that decibel range, it actually dampens everything, which I'm okay with for now. We'll see how it is as I test it. But what I'll do is I'm going to move this across the room, and we'll see if it still sounds the exact same. So I'll be right back. I'm going to move this right across the room right now. It actually feels like I'm some kind of superhuman because I can hear each and every one of my footsteps. Now, I don't know if you can still hear that phone. It doesn't seem like the camera is actually picking it up. I can still hear it just as loud as when it was when it was sitting right here in front of me. Just as loud, no problem. So that's actually very cool. So far, I'm impressed with how it's working. I'm actually going to bring these out into loud scenarios, engine rooms, on the range, whatever. I'll make a couple of videos, maybe just a single video, kind of elaborating on how the actual practical use, how it actually works in that environment. So we'll have to see, but so far, I have to say, they feel very comfortable on my head. They're working well. I'm getting a, a weird frequency clicking noise and I'm thinking it's because my wireless router and modem are literally about a foot and a half this way I'm thinking it's coming off of that so we'll see how it is once I get outdoors and out of my office here uh, but so far these are the Howard Light Impact Sport electronic earmuffs and so far for about $40-$50 I love them they're very comfortable they feel great on my head right now and I can hear all these ambient noises even just clicking in a very weird superhuman way but I think it's really cool so Stay tuned for the follow-up video. If you enjoyed this quick little unboxing video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and thanks for watching, everyone.